Hello traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill. We're in Pattaya, Thailand. So let's do a weather update. Let's take a look outside. <laughs> no fog, no smog, but looks like some big rain coming. <laughs> big dark clouds this morning. Currently 6.43 a.m. here in Thailand. And uh, we're getting ready to, what do they say? Let's get to it. <laughs> Um, anything yesterday? Um, hmm. Um, not really. A challenging day. There was some moves. There. I see the dollar index moved up a little bit uh, yesterday. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And um, the dollar pairs, you know, the dollar got strong and the pairs reacted, right? Uh, yeah, so it looks, looks all right. Um, you know, one thing I did notice uh, earlier today was that I saw Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down at 3,400. Wow. <laughs> they're, they're shrinking. <laughs> you know, I tell my my uh, my cleaner who does my shirts, you got to use some different detergent because every time I put my shirts on, they're getting tighter. <laughs> You're shrinking my shirts. <laughs> Bitcoin's getting tighter too. Woo. <laughs> Boy, aren't you glad you didn't buy that at 18,000, right? All right. Um, let's get to the news the news the news so i gotta tell you this is pretty funny i uh i i put on my apple watch this morning <laughs> and happy new year to uh china s starts today and i put on my watch and I, I flip it over and i got fireworks going off in my watch <laughs> that's pretty good apple you, you pulled off a good one there that's pretty funny pretty funny all right, so what do we have? I don't see much of anything here. You know, holidays, uh, Hong Kong, South Korea, Singapore, China. Uh, other than that, I really don't see any. Retail sales coming out of Aussie in about 45 minutes. Keep an eye on that. And trade balance out of the Aussie. RBA interest rate decision. Well, we know they're not going to do anything about that. But more importantly uh, is the RBA statement, and that'll be out. We'll keep an eye on that. So, um, Euro's got Spanish services, PMI, um, Italian services, PMI, French PMI, everybody's PMI, German PMI, Great British Pound PMI, Euro PMI, yeah, everything's PMI day today. Service PMI out of States, um, ISM non-manufacturing employment for January, ISM non-manufacturing PMI. So yeah, um, let's just take a look at tomorrow. Uh, nothing in, in New York afternoon that we have to worry about. Looks pretty clear there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so <laughs> the big uh, Super Bowl NFL football game was on yesterday. Was that horrible or what? <laughs> I think that was the worst Super Bowl game I've seen ever. It was horrible. You could have went to sleep, woke up, and came back, and maybe you would have saw something. <laughs> what a horrible Super Bowl. And apparently the ratings were, like, horrible. They like I guess most people just turned it off. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, horrible ratings. Horrible, horrible ratings. All right, so that's it there. Nothing else. Um, I don't see anything else moving around here. Well, look at all these comments, all these analysts. All these analysts telling you what's going to happen. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at what's going on in New York. Here we go. All right, crude oil. Inching its way up bit by bit by bit. Did we hit that 55? 55.71 came back down. Now we're sitting at 54.78. See what happens today. See if it can, you know, make its way back up again. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on that. Dollar index made a move to the upside, 95.84 on the dollar index. Uh, that's good for us. Thank you. Um, gold continues to take a downswing here, currently in 123.96. And, of course, it was over 125 uh, three trading days ago. The VIX, underneath this 200 exponential moving average, you talk about it every day, and it continues to go down. And I, I've got to tell you, I really don't understand why. <laughs> 
Why, other than the 200 is holding, but, you know, seeing the VIX at 1573 in February, that's really strange. Like, this thing should be at 25, 23, 20, you know, the VIX should be a lot higher than where it is. And this doesn't look to me like this wants to turn around. You know, the last thing you want to see the VIX is at 11 or 10 or something like that. You know, that's summertime trading, right? We don't want to see that. All right, the ESs. Yes, the market is still bullish. Straight on up. Jumped this 200 exponential moving average as we talked. Yesterday did a nice move to the upside. Today we start with a green candle to the upside. The ES is on the move. Uh, the Euro futures. Uh, well, you know, William says sell the Euro and I'm staying with it. So I change it. But right now, sell the Euro. You know, yesterday's charts, it was a challenge, folks. It was you know, if you got trades in yesterday, congratulations, but it was it was a challenge. The winner out of them, believe it or not, was the pound, but I'm going to show you, it wasn't easy. So, Euro, we want to continue to sell. It looks like we got a nice pullback. We'll take a look at a chart here in a second. I keep glancing over at the other charts to look at them. Um, and, you know, we'll see what's going on here. But, yeah, we want to sell this. Um, this is not in a bad spot here. We're not coming. Got support about here at um, 1412. Got some support there, so just keep an eye on that. Yeah, Super Bowl is horrible, folks. Woo wee! What a horrible game. <laughs> Glad I didn't pay twenty thousand dollars for a seat. <laughs> All right, so here's our pound, and this was yesterday, and we can see this did this. This was data. Was it GDP yesterday? I don't remember. This was data. And if you caught this, it came back down and then just came down, right, covered, came back to where it started. Normally on data, that's what happens. If it spikes somewhere, it usually comes back down to the to the to the price and, and just, you know, dwindles its way back back to the downside. So it's just doing that. Um, I don't think PMI data is gonna really shake the shake the box over this. But we do have angwin separation here. So, you know, let's get rid of that. Why am I getting rid of that? Because I don't want to trade this here, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, 31.20, somewhere in there. Okay. 1.3120. You know, this now comes down to here. And we can take that from there. But again, this this to me looks like this is just, you know, what's the what's the motivation for this to turn around? You know, this is just selling off and it continues to sell off. And again, these EMAs, not like yesterday, they were a little bit more tighter. These EMAs really have angle and separation, meaning that this is pointing down, this is pointing down, and the 10 EMAs right on top of price pointing down. And it's got, you know, big separation here. It's got stuff we're going to have to watch here. You know, do you want to sell it at the 200? I don't know, folks. you got a lot of Forex junk right here to fight. You know, I'd rather it break this support, retest it, and then we can sell it sell it back. But but do I do I want this to uh, continue? You know, do I think this is going to come up and hit the 200 and come back down? The dollar's got to get weak. The, listen, there's no good data coming out of the pound, folks, right? No good data coming out of the pound. But if you got this, by the way, you did good. Because you're probably still in the trade, right? There's no reason to get out. This thing is just mindering down. Let's take a look at the euro. Not much, huh? Came down. It's been sideways. It's been sideways most of yesterday. Nothing's changed here. We're not doing a thing. Not doing a thing. You know, <laughs> I guess we could say we would take it back down here and take it back down. Because there's not a lot of stuff here. So that would be, you know, a good idea. I do like the top of this range. I know you all think I'm nuts, but I probably am. But, uh, yeah, I do like the top of this range here. You know, this this got a bump. Or this is going to, or, 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 or. <laughs> I'll say that again, or. <laughs> um, we can take this this way. And see if it breaks the trend line, we test it, and then we can take it to the downside. That's an option. But where are you going to have to put your stop? Yeah, your stop's got to go up here, right? 
1455, you know, it's got to go up here somewhere. It's got to go up here. It's got to go above the 200 if you're going you to play this. And we're getting in here at 1430. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So you're putting about 30 pips on as, as risk on this. And, uh, which is fine, but just realize that's what you're going to have to do. I'd rather get as close as we can back to this 200 and we'll take it down. But we'll see what happens here. But again, it's just going to dwindle on down, right? And these EMAs really haven't. There's no angle. In se there's a separation, but there's there's no angle, right? We got. They're not. They're not like. <laughs> they're not playing the drums up to the right beat, right? <laughs> they're all over the place there. So I was looking around today, and oh, we forgot yesterday to take a look at the euro yen. Yeah, this is nice. I'll tell you what. This is really, really nice. I like this. I like this. I like this. Look at this, my friends. Right below that 55 EMA. Grab onto that and sell it. That's what I say. This looks really nice. And and we'll take it right down here. We have no problem taking it down here, right? We'll take it to our support line if we can get there. Yes, I like this. Coming up to resistance. Listen, we're gonna have to. You might have to be patient on this. This might break this resistance and then come back down. But we do have a trade, right? And the trade is we need to get below this trend line, below this 55, and shoot it to the downside. And if it, if it moves to the upside, it gets up to this 125.94 area right before that 126 level. That's a good opportunity to sell. Also, I would sell that. I would sell that. We do have stuff left to the chart, but. I, I would take a shot there and so drawdown is nothing. Drawdown is going to be 10 pips, right? If we get in at this 126.90 area, drawdown is 10 pips. 15 at the most. It either works or it doesn't work. I would just sell this, right? It might take us two shots to get it, but that's okay. I, I don't, I'm not against that. But where price is now, if it gets below this 55 and this trend line, let's take it to the downside. This 10 EMA is underpriced though. We don't like that, right? We want the 10 EMA always on top of price. And let's take a look at a new one. Well, it's not new, but. Here's a, a Euro New Zealand. Now, the problem with this pair, if you're going to trade it, the problem with this pair, and if you look at this chart, you can see it, you're trading week against week, right? Euro's weak, and the New Zealand dollar is weak. So this, my friends is no trade there's nothing to do here don't even think of trading this because look at this look at how long we've been in this and it had a little move here probably data then it did this it had a nice downfall here was that when the dollar dumped i'm not sure i don't know what that was to be honest with you um but you know this is a lot of sideways price action for a long time you know if you're going to do anything of course <laughs> I, I don't want to sell it right the Kiwi's weak, and, and I don't want to buy it because the Euro's weak, so there's nothing, nothing there at all. Take a look at our Aussie. Hmm. Interesting, huh? It did break this 200, so we can get rid of this trend line. This trend line's not valid anymore. Get rid of that. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that, too. Let's get rid of that. See, this, this unfortunately, like, we should be in this. We're going to watch this real closely, um, and we'll see what happens here. But, unfortunately, it's gonna, it takes me about an hour after I finish to get this part, this video back up, you know, onto YouTube and all my places where I post it. So, yeah. Um, but this... This looks good to sell it, right? 
This looks good to sell. If I remember, there's no data coming out out of that. Folks, that's about it. The New Zealand dollar, we'll take a peek at that. That is sinking a little bit. Here's a New Zealand dollar below the 200. Another opportunity maybe here. Let's really keep an eye on the dollar pairs. Uh, I'm sorry, the dollar um, strength. Because if we see that fading, this is going to turn around on us, right? But this is not, I don't see this as a bad thing here. I really don't see this as a bad thing. So maybe we could sell this one too. But we'll keep an eye on it. Nothing, nothing yet. Like this isn't going to happen in the next couple of hours. But this has to really make up its mind. I really want it to take out that level there and let it take it out. And then we can sell it. Or I'll come back up and sell it. But I want to sell it. <laughs> Definitely want to sell it. Jerry, thank you so much for being with me today. It's been awesome on this Tuesday. Wow, it's the 5th of February. Traders, always remember to trade smart, not hard. Have a great trading day, but what's more important than anything? Let's have a little bit of fun. We'll catch you bright and early on a Wednesday morning in Asia. Take care, my friends. See you now. Bye-bye.